best gift you can give yourself is to find something that motivates you. Find something that motivates you, turn that motivation into drive. Once you're driven, you can then push yourself very far. But the biggest gift you can give somebody is that they see your drive. They see your passion to become better. And then you can pass along that gift that you have given yourself onto someone else to be better. That's the best gift you can give somebody. You can take your surroundings beyond order and, and, and move towards beauty, and that's unbelievably useful because while well, beauty calls people to their higher being, I would say, and to make friends with beauty is to introduce yourself very carefully to one of the mysteries of life that make it worth living. Let me tell you, in order to have something different, you are going to have to do something different. In order to have something more, you have to do something you haven't done yet. And when you look up, and you don't have to have a magnificent change over 12 months, have a small change over 30 days, and then a small change over 30 days, your breakthrough will come, will come in needlepoint moves. And you'll look up, look up in five years and not recognize your life. So when I say you've got to f***ing want it, you've got to want it bad enough to fight through that period where you don't know if you're going to pull it off. You're afraid that you're going to end up being a total loser. And the people that go on to do just extraordinary things with their lives, there are people that want this success so badly that they're willing to face the fact that they might prove themselves to be a loser, which of course is an illusion and isn't actually how it plays out. But that's, they needed this huge desire to help them overcome the fear that they might be as big of a loser as they think they are, and that everyone else is gonna finally see what a loser they are. So you have to build the desire. The greatest achievers who've ever walked among us know that they all came from the same intelligence and recognize and help people to find that within themselves. The number one quality and characteristic of these people who live at the apex, who are way beyond just taking care of their biological... Here we go, Brian Lewis. You are an Iron Man today, Lewis. Very close. You are an Iron Man, Lewis. These are people who have a dharma. These are people who won't let anyone else determine what it is they're going to be. The number one quality of these people is that they are independent of the good opinion of other people. They listen to an inner voice. Not weakness, vulnerability. That's, that's a whole different thing to admit to to admit to the fact that you're vulnerable, that's a form of courage, that's not a form of weakness. But that leads you to take whatever steps are necessary to deal with that properly. It isn't some facade that you're invulnerable. No one is invulnerable by any stretch of the imagination. And to stand up and face that is...